I think the engine failed, which caused the pylon to fail, and it failed so catastrophically, it blew out the right engine as well. So there's a ton of damage from this engine coming apart. And we don't know how it came apart yet. We just know that it did. So we know what happened. We don't know why. We've got a Reality 4434 maintenance issue. Uh, many airlines have outsourced maintenance to save money. Maintenance um, by mechanics uh, that don't meet U.S. standards. That's, uh, that is true. I'm not sure about this one. I do know that I think the airplane was in St. Louis or someplace for maintenance. Uh, and it had been in maintenance about six weeks, which is uh, a C check. That's a, that's a very comprehensive, basically they take the whole airplane apart and put it back together, replace everything that needs to be replaced, inspect everything that needs to be inspected. Um, and uh, the NTSB was asked this question and they said they didn't have any indication that there was any sort of a maintenance related issue with that airplane that day. So all airliners have lots of maintenance issues, right? That because the armrest at 34F is loose doesn't mean it, the engine's gonna fall off. Um, so again, a little deeper dive into the maintenance history on this airplane might reveal something. The preliminary report from the NTSB, I'm really eager to see that as you are, and I'll come to you right away when we get that. Hopefully that'll give us some insight as to if it was maintenance related or not. But that's an excellent question. All right, FS6622 says, since the NTSB has confirmed that the engine did in fact disconnect from the aircraft, did the fire result from that or did the fire cause that? And given the history of the MD-10 slash, or M DC-10 and the MD-11, is it time to send them uh, to the boneyard? Well, <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a really good question. Is it time to send these airplanes to the boneyard? For the most part, the DC-10 has been sent to the boneyard. The MD-11 is another story, uh, but I think there's gonna be a lot of scrutiny of the MD-11 after this accident, and that might be the, the final result. Um, the, you're asking the chicken or the egg question. Did the engine failure cause the pylon to fail or did the pylon failure cause the engine to fail? Six of one, half dozen of another, 50-50 on this one. Uh, I think it was the engine failure that caused the pylon to fail. Could have been the pylon, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt about that. So we're